Blocks World is a game I've talked about multiple times on this channel. I have a lot of nostalgia for it and was one of my favourite games back in the day. So I think I, WaffleTube, am rather up to the task of talking about the history of Blocks World, the community, and how it all went wrong. I'm also joined by another old Blocks World player, Ben. Say hello. Hello. Who will give some insight too. But without further ado, let's dive right into it. World, originally called Creative Builder, was released in beta in 2012 and was acquired by Linden Labs in 2013, where it released on the App Store the same year. It eventually came to Steam in 2017, but honestly not really many people cared. In the early days, Blockswold was very simple, with a small selection of blocks and a small player base, but things quickly evolved as Linden built on the game. The aim was to create and program worlds and games and then share them to the public. Around 2015, the game was in its prime. However, blocks were limited and unless you paid for the membership, this was a one-time payment of roughly £5 and you had unlimited blocks and most things. When you publish worlds, people could play them and if they liked them, give them a like. The more likes you, um, <clears throat> the more likes you amass, the more rewards you'd get. Different achievements such as cool and amazing would give you a small amount of coins while if you got elite, legendary or hall of fame, people would pay to play and then you'd have a good income. With coins you could buy packs to get exclusive blocks, parts and actions. Some of my personal favourites include Spycraft 2, Here's of Aero and My Little Pony? Okay, I guess it doesn't really matter. Maybe. Although blocks with licences with Hasbro eventually parted. The Blocks World community was some, something, to be sure. It had its good parts, and it had its bad parts. The community was split into three sections. The pros, the kids, and the people who could build well that just didn't get any recognition. Some notable pros included Hyperdelic, Kawaii Cookie, and Money Grabber, to name a few. Also, if, if any Blocks World pros want to sit down for an interview in a future video, hit up my email. Pros were commonly found on the What's Hot page and became widely renowned. The kids referred to the players whose worlds were low effort and bad, like a couple blocks on a starter island, or a random yellow structure. And then everyone in between were the general players. However, the community soon became very toxic due to this divide. The players that couldn't build hated the players that could, made worlds saying how bad they are, and this caused many pros to quit altogether due to the abuse. It was a war, and I haven't even mentioned the war community, which still goes on today and has a dedicated discord. Pros either left the app with a leaving message, disappeared randomly, or ignored the abuse and kept making worlds, but it was clear that the downfall had started. Later on in Bloxworld's life, as the population of players began to dwindle, Linden started majorly changing the app and adding updates frequently. The like system was changed to stars and earning coins became very difficult and complicated to understand. The one-time paid membership became a monthly subscription with more things being locked behind a paywall, making Bloxworld almost a pay-to-play game. Files were added, now showing a visual representation of popularity adding to the git drama. Although, there were good additions, like the Hyper Jump and Animated Blocksters, the addition of a world published limit before you had to pay to make more was the worst thing to come to Bloxworld however. Most people found it very unfair. But the update suddenly came to a stop in 2018 with the last one being the Portal Blocks before none ever released again. Not even bug fixes. Due to Bloxworld rapidly descending in interest and revenue, Linden decided to lay off a Linden employee by the name of Leslie, who was the primary person responsible for keeping Bloxworld up and running smoothly. Having nobody to monitor the game, it soon became haven to plenty of bugs and crashes, the most notable being Error 505, 
and ones that made it impossible to publish worlds, as well as the PC version being impossible to log into completely. The game went into a state of disrepair, and on June 17, 2020, Linden cut Blocks World and removed it from the App Store completely. Not many people were angry at Blockworld's shutdown. More sad and nostalgic, with most people not even realising that their childhood game had shut down until months later. If you go onto the app now, every page is empty except your own worlds. You cannot play your own published worlds, but you can still go on the ones you've unpublished. The Blockworld community is still together, however, in the form of a couple Discord servers, as well as a secondary server which is up and running to play if you want. So. That's the story of Block's World, a relatively small, forgotten game that remains a hub for nostalgia. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing, and links to the BW Discord servers are in the description. Plus, if you are a Block's World pro, please hit me up, hit my email for an interview. Thank you, goodbye!